are swerving to gold on the way to the Great American Bash. Hit Row gets their gold. We have new number one contenders for the Women's Tank Team Championships. What is next for Johnny Gargano and Karrion Cross? A scary bumper for Mercedes Martinez. And all that and more. Welcome to a brand new episode of Kimmy Talk Wrestling where we talk about a bunch of stuff and we are reviewing NXT. And we are starting. Triple Threat Women's Tag Team Number One Contenders Match. We have Shotzi Blackheart and Ember Moon versus Io Shirai and Zoe Stark versus NXT Women's Champion Raquel Gonzalez with Dakota Kai. And oh my god, this match was so much fun. All six women had so many opportunities to shine and I really thought that Dakota and Raquel were going to win. And I hate when singles competitors go into the tag team division. It does not make sense. We don't need double champions. So I was really excited they didn't win. Um, shockingly enough, the alliance of Zoe Stark and Io Shirai picks up the win, pinning Dakota Kai. And in a backstage interview with Candice and Indy, they make a good point, you know? They're a real team. They're a family. Where Zoe and Io really aren't. And they just have mutual respect for each other. And this match is going to happen, of course, next week at the Great American Bash. I'm excited for it. This match should be really good. I mean, all four women are super talented, and obviously Candice and Indy are going to win, and maybe it will end just like Candice said, with Io stabbing Zoe right in the back. Or, they should have Zoe stab Io. That would be better. That's what they should do. That's going to happen. My bold prediction. But from one member of the way to another, Johnny Gargano and Karrion Cross. So obviously we see what's been going on the last couple of weeks where Gargano called out Cross and you know they're disputing. So Cross comes out, calls out Gargano, says that he can never be who Cross is. He's just so more dominant and stronger. Basically blames him to come out here. Gargano calls him a bully and says that you know I'm not scared of you. You're in my ring. You know I'm smarter than you, right? And Austin Theory comes out. And attacks Cross from behind. So now it's two on one. Gargano gets the upper advantage. So it's like, oh yes, we did this. Let's go. So then they leave the arena. And then Cross and Scarlet are leaving. And then Gargano and Theory come back. And they get beat up really, really badly. And then Cross almost ran over Johnny Gargano with a car. And Joe pulled him out of the way. And it was really funny because he was holding him like a father, like just really angry at his son. And Joe goes, you know, you really impressed me tonight, but you just took it way too far. So this is something I'm shocked isn't announced for next week because I don't think the next TakeOver is until the day after SummerSlam. So I don't know. Well, I mean, I get why it's not next week. But I just thought, you know, since it's a special, it would make sense for NXT title to be defended. I don't see them doing this on a random NXT episode either, so I guess we are going to wait until that TakeOver. But th this was good. I mean, Gargano and Theory are super talented, and so is Cross, so it's only a matter of time to see where this match goes. <laughs> Let's see. Mercedes Martinez, right. So, it was Xia Li and Boa and versus Jake Atlas and Mercedes Martinez, and the match was going on, and Xia Li, ho, oh, she had this nasty kick to Mercedes where she knocked out. So the latest reports I've seen is that she, went, she was in the back, and then I sent her to the hospital for further evaluation, so I will say, you know, Thoughts and prayers. We hope you're okay. The match was really good. I mean, it's unfortunate when it has to go to no contest due to injury, which just happened, you know, with wrestling. Accidents happen. But yeah, this was this was good. I just feel bad for Mercedes because she was definitely knocked out and she didn't know where she was. And that is really, really scary. And that main event. So we had Bronson Reed versus Isaiah Swerve. So they were talking about how they're doing the breakout star tournament again, which is actually where Swerve and Reed started, and, you know, Mackenzie Mitchell was getting Reed's opinion on bringing it back, and Swerve goes, oh, like, this seems familiar, and challenges Reed for his championship, 
And I was like, oh, they won't change it. And I was like, well, maybe they will. Because I know the vids is looking for more people to move up. So I'm like, oh. You know, I know Bronson Reed's been backstage. And this was a really good match. And Hit Row got its gold. Hit Row has gold now. Isaiah's is champion. This is really exciting. Um, I've been a huge fan of Isaiah Swerve, so I'm happy to see him get gold and excited to see Hit Row succeed. And I'm excited to see where the title match goes. And where the title reign goes, you know. Is it going to last? Is this going to be whoever wins the breakout tournament? Is this the, the championship that they're going to want to go after? I was a little shocked, you know, because it was just a random episode. And I like, see, it's like, oh, title change. But this was good. And speaking of title things, Cameron Grimes might have to be a butler. So Cameron Grimes has a squash match. He wins. And he calls out, all LA night comes out. And, you know, they're going back and forth. And Grimes challenges for the title. And LA Knight goes, oh, you know, like, no. You don't deserve it. And he's like, well, actually, wait. I can get something out of this. Because, you know, my car isn't parked. I lost my glasses and all this stuff. So how about if we have this match that if you lose, you become my butler. So I could definitely see them having Grimes do that just because he can make it so entertaining. And I think they want to wait to see if possibly, like in front of a bigger crowd, I feel like that's what they're waiting for. So if the next takeover is going to be in Vegas in front of a large crowd, I can see them totally doing like the third match there and then Grimes wins to give him that reaction that he deserves. So I'm intrigued to see how this goes. I'm excited to see what happens after this. Because is this just like a one feud thing or is the Million Dollar Championship going to be defended in NXT? But yeah, it was a really good episode of NXT, you know, NXT flows really nicely. I'm assuming that Reed's going to get called up in the draft. I think that they're going to give him one more send-off match for Swerve. And he's going to move up to SmackDown and there's some really cool things up there. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. And that's it for me. And we'll see you all tomorrow because Dynamite has returned. Two Wednesdays. It has taken us a month, but we made it, and I'm so excited about it. So make sure to like this video, comment what y'all thought about NXT, subscribe, notifications, and the three of us will actually all see you when we go for your dynamite. Me in the morning, and then in the afternoon. We're back, baby.